Trit's crazy. Tree Terrace. Never traded this. But this is just vol, right? You can just, this is just volatility. It's not very volatile. It gets a little bit volatile. And obviously now it's kind of cuckoo. But if you look at the trade signals from the high value target tool, they've been awesome. Now we're getting three, multiple. These seem to have worked out historically. So I think that we should do it again. We're also seeing lots of activity on the Wall Street wiretapper. So combining those two, TRIT, in my opinion, is darn good risk reward. I wrote here, consider buying the 10 strike calls for $1.05. If we look at the options, I want to be in March. The 10 strike, $1.05, $1.10. Also, what I like about TRIT, and I could talk about this more during class, is TRIT is, what, a $600 million market cap company? So it could really move. It's not like a $50 billion company. $300 million, $500 million companies aren't very big anymore. And so when companies, and, and Pablo's going to listen to this, and, and Pablo's right, because this is NNDM. NNDM, if you go to the YouTube channel, I have a really, really good video on NNDM. I'll link that as well. You guys have a lot of homework to do. NNDM was trading at like $7.00. But the options markets were really, really tight, a very tight bid ask. And if you go back to that video, that was one of the reasons why NNDM was such a favorable trade at the time. It was actually, we were doing February's here, bought for $1.50, trading about $5. Very, very similar in TRIT. And the difference in TRIT is you're probably looking at it as, well, they're a nickel wide, right? 35 cents at 40 cents, 25 cents at 30 cents. But this is the tightest they can make these markets. Because if we go back to NNDM, NNDM trades in pennies, 78 cents at 80 cents, 45 cents at 48 cents. So these traded in pennies. What happens is old school, everything traded in, in nickels. And then they moved it to pennies. As stocks got more liquid, they started trading in pennies, but you can still find some. I know Pablo's thinking right now, these are scans that we should add to the Wall Street wiretapper. And Pablo, I agree. TRIT still trades in nickels, but usually when stocks that trade in nickels aren't that liquid but the Wall Street wiretapper found TRIT. I looked on the HVT tool. I would think that if this did trade in pennies, this would be 37 bid at 38 cents, but it's only trading in nickels. Kind of cool, but I definitely like TRIT. If we think about a level, I'll go back to March, tens for $1.05. Levels are always tricky, right? Because I don't know if TRIT's gonna open up down 5% or up 5%. It is interesting, but even on Friday, it had a dollar, you know, 47 range, a dollar 47 range, the difference between the high and the low, a dollar 47 is about 20%. So 20% in one day. I really like this trade the more I look at it like this. So now over the next 40 days, the market's pricing in a shit ton of movement. I'm sorry, I'm trying to curse less. Sorry, a lot of movement, 60% movement. So it moves 20% in one day, it absolutely should. But therefore, people get scared of 192 vol. The reason I don't get scared of 192 percentage vol is because on Friday, the darn thing moved 20%. When is this darn thing's earnings? And why is there so much liquidity? Okay, it's a fintech company, so I understand there's a lot of volatility in fintech right now. There's a big short report out. 
That explains the volatility. Oh, cool. Ooh. Really? Well, this is becoming a better video as we go on. So I know we have a lot of new members. Every single Sunday, we share these trades. I wake up, I do the research. Pablo and I usually talk Friday or Saturday, going over different names, sharing different ideas, and then we put them all together. Usually this process I don't film. Perhaps I should. Okay, I wanna add warrants on here. We have to learn about those Tritera warrants. So I might need a class for warrants because, okay, a warrant is an out of the money call. That's it. It's, it's the same thing as an out of the money call. That's, that's it. So a couple of things. In order for me, I like this trade anyway. I wanna read the short report. I wanna learn more about it. But nevertheless, this is a, this is just, it's a very, very good trade. Let's go to the filings. Okay, here's the deal, guys. I'm going back to November 10th when this deal was done. There was a merger, and in the merger, Tritera was created, and there was also Trit Warrants. So I'm going to look back to the date of the merger. And what I want to do is look at TRIT. And then I'm going to compare it to TRIT warrants. And this is an awesome trade, but it takes a ton of discipline. Okay, now prices don't matter. I need them in percentage terms, right? Awesome trade. By the way, this is something you can do for the next five years until these warrants expire. Okay, so what these warrants are, they're five-year warrants. Okay, so they're five-year warrants. And a warrant is an out of the money call. It's the same thing, it's the same thing, it's the same thing. Don't be intimidated by it. 1150 strike, expire November 10th, 2025. So there are leaps, right? Let's default to the color that you can't read. Okay, so now let's look at treat, trit. Okay, right here. January 23rd. So our or our, the warrants that we're talking about have an expiration of November 10th, 2025. So the warrants for trit, which are T-R-I-T-W is the exact same thing as them adding an additional column right here and putting these options for expiration November 10th, 2025 at the 1150 strike, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So now look, TRIT W is trading at $1.75. Okay, so TRIT W is trading at $1.75. $11.50 strike option expires in five years. So if we open these up and we look at the 1250s, the 1250s are 250 bid. That make I mean, it's, okay, H how does that work? These warrants, guys, you can buy it and sell it just like stock. The bid, wa bid ask, it's a dime wide, but I bet it gets tighter during the day. It trades an absolute ton. These are too cheap. Uh, 
these are too cheap because as I just explained to you, they expire in November, so you have the additional time. And these are 250, I mean, these are a dollar fifty bit, guys. So there's something else with these warrants. Oh, okay. If the price of the TRIT warrant should rise above $18 for 20 out of any 30 trading days, TRIT can redeem the warrants at their option. But that would mean you would still have 30 days just to sell it. So that really doesn't matter. I mean, I, it, it covers the company because the company is saying, hey, we'll give you upside, but we're going to only give you upside to $20, right? Or to $18. So the most that you can make on the TRIT W would be 18 minus 1150 because if the price of TRIT should rise above $18 for 20 out of any 30 trading days, so the price would have to stay above 18, right? So let's say it stays around 20. You could get out of it fine. You have plenty of time. So if it trades 20, the most that you can make on TRITW would be 20 minus 1150. 850, $8.50. At any time you want, you can just get out of the trade. You can also exercise the warrant at any time as well, meaning that if there's not a good market and TRIT is above $11.50 per share, you can just say, fine, I own the stock. I love it. It's a great trade, but it's a longer term trade. It's a longer term trade. Now, you might be thinking, do I need to learn something about Triteris to see if we want to be involved with this? Well, Triteris, a lot of the reason why it has this kind of volatility is people own a enormous amount of these warrants. They're just baby stock in the deal that was given to people because they probably didn't have enough cash or enough stock. So they said, hey, we'll also give you a ton of way out of the money options for five years. And if the company works, those will be worth a lot of money. And if not, it won't be. So when you see this kind of volatility and it spikes up like that, all those Warren holders are super excited because they're locking in what they probably bought for a penny or for a nickel. We're getting it down here. We're getting the buy signals. We're also getting some unusual options activity. So all of those things coupled together. This is the Wall Street wiretapper. Really what we look for is, is companies that we haven't seen up here. And so this starts peaking its head up February 1st, February 2nd. You can see it in the volume tab, which we just touched. Trade makes a lot of sense. But... Members, we're also going to be adding TRIT W to this spray sheet, trade sheet. A little longer video than I expected. Looking forward to class tomorrow, guys. Jonathan, owner, masters in trading.